Are we good? All right, we are living. I know they're waiting for us. We're over there ordering food, man. I feel bad. I'm sorry. Anyway, <laughs> I haven't seen this matchup in a minute, I feel like. Oh, and uh, Lucina versus Bayonetta? Fanny Raid versus Wonder Bread? Fanny Raid versus Wonder Bread. Like, I know, what's their track record? It's like 50-50, right? Something wrong it's there? very 50-50. And um, I think Wonder Bread might have a slight edge. Yeah. In terms I, of, like, tournament results. I can definitely see that. But Fanny Raid's definitely trying to step up his game as a reason. Um, and I, I definitely see it in his gameplay. It's more confident, like, more, I guess, uh, more refined. Like, it's, it's not so... Bayonetta, -y. it's it's more of his own playstyle. You know oh, what I'm saying? I feel oh yeah. Th that's definitely like what makes a good Bayonetta. Like you know how to do the Bayonetta stuff, but you also have to add your own flair to the character. That's just big time in, ter in terms of like any play uh, in this game. You just really have to kind of find your own footing and have your own personal touch. I think Anti talks about how important it is all the time. Oh no, it's very important. Nice step. Which time? Nice. That's gonna be, yeah. That's gonna be it. Finished. Anyway, it only 76% uh, hold the zone against Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread's on the street right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, He's been yeah. doing so well, barely losing to Dyer at uh, CFL SmackDown the other day. Yo, I heard. That's nuts. Yeah, Dyer's good. Oh, well, he's amazing. He's a great player. Attitude, not so much. But as a player, he's fantastic. It's, it's an incredible feat. And he did it with Mac, I believe. Yeah. He, um, he lost game one as Lucina, but game two, from what he was telling me, he was up on him. Um, his first stock, uh, Dyer had 50% of second stock, and then he SD'd. Uh, and then after he SD'd, Dyer got him. And you know how Diddy Kongs are really, really. That's dead. No, it's not. Oh, he's still living. You know how Diddy Kongs are good at with momentum. Like, they're just hard to stop at that point. Because you have to deal with, like, banana and all that other stuff. But nonetheless. About, not about that. Let's talk about these two wonderful players. Oh, yeah. We're going to have plenty of time to talk about Wonder Bread. He's going to be in his bracket, at least for a little while longer. Almost dying the SD there. Wow. We, I mean, we, the whole time we've been talking, Pantyweight just been running and running away with this first game. Running, 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 run, 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 run okay, so, so what's the adjustment that, that, that Wonder Bread needs to make? You he needs to start jabbing more. Like, like here, like he needs to be walking around. And, like, right, like, that was perfect. He needs to be walking more and jabbing. Because you need to condition your opponent that you're going to have a certain option. Like, jab to fair or jab to like up air are really good. But you can use those to your advantage, especially against like a Bayonetta who will probably start panic uh, witch timing. So you can start charging with a smash. And if they jump away and you can't catch them, or immediately just let it go. But if you can catch them, you get early kills with Lucina. Especially with this much rage. Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah, oh, it's, it's definitely still doable, absolutely. And I, I always talked about it with, uh, with my friends about how Lucina and Marv's jab is, is like a real life jab. Like, when it, you get hit by it, it really stuffs a lot of things that you're trying to do. Makes you have to rethink the approach. Oh, but he gets hit with the back air. And we're taking that game one. I don't know. What, I actually did not know how that was going to turn out, to be honest. Because I'm like, oh, maybe one of them will counter. Because that, that stopped everything except for grab. And, I mean, he could have charged a, a smash. But, like, no one's going to read that. Like, you know, not even, like I don't. I read really well. Like, but yeah, I would yeah. not have read that. Like, if he would have counter, I would have gotten hit. But... Probably gonna go Mac. Now the difference between his Lucina and his Little Mac is how calculated his Little Mac is. Like, it's disgusting what he can do with his character. Like when people say Little Mac is bad, I'm like, I don't think Little Mac is necessarily bad. He has to work harder than most, I'll give you that. But when the, when the Little Mac puts in that work, boy, they work you hard. Oh like, yeah. It, I mean, it's just, it's a game changer. Everything from KO Punch to all those smash attacks with the armor and his ability to just rack up damage and pull off combos is just nuts. Also, the down tilt being, what the hell? <laughs> the the uh, down tilt being such a good poke. Oh, my God. Also, down smash. Is it such a, it's so dumb. It's an edge guarding move. What the heck? Dude, it's like Gamble's sport tilt, that bad. Like, <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, my plan? Oh, that's death. Wow, this is super close to it. And one of us getting close to KO Punch material as well. Wow, taking that first stock with the up B. And this is the most dangerous part about the Little Mac, is that because he's so close to him getting KO Punch, the opponent, number one, has to realize, like, when I hit him, I have to extend this far enough to where the time that it takes for him to get, 
for KO punch to be wasted. Okay, that was <laughs> yeah, that's all that Penny Ray needed. But again, it was he was in such a good position, but oh no, unfortunately he gets a whistle time on the platform. You good, I gotta land. Oh, that was a beautiful little bit. Combo there. That too. was smart. So fake him out through shield. Yeah, what the heck? Because that's the only way you're gonna lose that lag from all the upbeats. Who bet you is ready to pop? You wanna get another KO punch already. So watch next down to okay, yeah, they're not gonna say the next down to it. He's dead, I think. Oh man, Panny Ray played that. Beautifully. There you have it, man. It was. It can go either way. But nice haircut, too. Yeah, yeah, everybody with those Thanksgiving cuts, man. I don't know what it is. Now, I'm about to switch this. I don't think we have the name right. But I think it's me. It's just, it's just gonna be you're gonna be both players. 